Um, this is going to be a presentation, a preview of evaluating TLA plus trace expressions on the command line, on the terminal, without the toolbox. Um, before I get started, and the preview will include how to use this, before I get started, I have two aliases here um, that have been set up to reduce the amount of typing. Um, where's the other one? That's uh, this guy here. So we have an alias TLC that runs the model checker with the tool parameter, that's important. And we have an alias trace that runs this new command here, trace explorer generates spec. Okay, so this is the setup that's needed in addition to the most recent uh, TA2tools.jar. And now let's assume we have, we're working on this page queue uh, spec here and we for which we created this MC model. I created this with a toolbox and now I simply use the generated files. Um, and first let's let's simulate the model or let's run simulation, the simulator on the model uh, and, and check what it does. Oh, so it, it uh, produces an error trace. There's something wrong with the page queue spec. It, it violates um, one of our properties. Uh, let's not let's not bother to check which property it is. So what's going on here? We have the the trace of 26 steps, uh, which is several hundred lines of, of text output. And this is just too difficult to, to understand what's going on by going through it. Um, but we can use a trace expression um, because for some reason or another, we have this hypothesis that uh, a certain action of the page queue spec is not enab uh, enabled all the time, and this is what's leading to the error trace. So uh, let's simulate this again, um, but this time piping it to MC out. And now we convert, and this is the new part, we convert this um, into, into the spec T file. Um, since I named it MC out, trace doesn't require additional parameters. Um, it will just automatically select MC out. And what it does, it, it generates the spec TE, CFG, and the spec TLA. Um, they are not meant to be human readable in the sense that it's just the error trace um, encoded in TLA plus encoded as a state machine. Um, so we have an init and the next predicate, and the next predicate has a bunch of sub-actions, all called next underscore something. Um, but what we really want to do is we want to state a trace expression, right? So we want to check if our assumption that this DQ action is not correctly enabled is actually true. And for that, uh, trace expression deck enabled will be trace init and that's the original init and trace tag equals and now I'm a little bit lazy so we'll copy paste this part and trace next trace next equals next and we can paste that again okay and last but not least, we have to update um, the init action in spec CFG, spec T CFG, and the next state relation in spec CFG trace next. And what we can now do is we can use TLC again, this time on spec T and not on MC anymore to have it evaluate the trace expressions. And now we see in the same error trace again, um, except that we get to see the value of trace expression deck enabled and state 26, it happens to be enabled, but let's combine this with the powers of the terminal. Uh, so let's quickly grab the enablement of all 26 actions on. We see in this particular state here of the trace, DAG is not enabled and that might lead us 
and give us a clue of what's going on. Well, thanks.